Hey Mushroom fans, it's Anna. I'm out uh, on a beautiful morning in December and I want to talk to you about a genus called Sterium. Um, reason being, this is a very common wood decomposing uh, genus that you will find throughout the year and they are considered look-alikes for turkey tail mushrooms. So I want to um, elaborate a little bit about Sterium as a genus and why uh, they resemble turkey tail and why they are in fact not turkey tail. So turkey tail is highly medicinal. Um, it's called Tremedes versicolor. It's very common as well. It is a wood decomposer. So, you know, frequently um, the thing that people get hung up on is that uh, the distinguishing feature of uh, Tremedes versicolor is it has a sort of variegated growth pattern and coloration here. So what I'm holding right here is called Sterium austria, um, commonly called the parchment fungus. It also has this sort of, um, you know, really pretty variegated coloration, but it is a, a lighter color, so more of a tan to orange. Turkey tail is oftentimes green to tan, even blue in some cases. But the, also the most important differentiation here is that uh, the underside of uh, Sterium mushrooms are flat and completely smooth, like a piece of parchment. Whereas in the case of turkey tail, it is a um, polyporous surface, meaning it's just basically got a lot of little uh, pores. So if you rub it, it's a little on the rough side. So uh, this is Sterium austria, as I mentioned, um, very, very you know common, and um, you'll often find it also growing like completely concurrently and on the same um, you know substrates as uh, turkey tail and its relatives. So you know you when you see the two of them side by side, you'll oftentimes say, well, this turkey tail looks really light colored, and this one is a little furrier and darker, and the furry dark one is the one that typically is the real deal. Um, I am particularly interested this year in Sterium complicatum. Uh, so this is, uh, you know, a relative of Sterium austria. It sometimes gets much larger. Uh, typically, I think it's in warmer weather. It just seems to, you know, get a little bit, um, you know, the, the fruiting bodies tend to get a little bit larger. But anyway, very common. It has this sort of uh, leafy appearance and this really cool sort of flaming orange color. Um, and, you know, you can see all these are distinct little fruiting bodies bodies themselves. They also have the variegated growth pattern of turkey tail. It's kind of, um, you know, difficult to see under some circumstances, especially when you're dealing with sm uh, small specimens like this. But, you know, if they get a little bit larger, I can definitely see where you'd say, okay, you know, it's a uh, kind of, it looks a little feathery and it looks a little variegated. Maybe that is uh, a medicinal tea mushroom. And the answer is no, it's just sterium. So um, to my knowledge, sterium is harmless, but it also doesn't <laughs> have any um, particular medicinal benefits that I'm aware of. Uh, so, you know, those are probably two of the most common turkey tail look-alikes. And Sterium complicatum is the one I'm sort of obsessing over this season because of its color. It's just so uh, radically orange. It kind of looks like, uh, you know, little little flashes of, of flame when you find it uh, looking in the woods. And so I'm kind of uh, obsessed is probably a, a stretch, but I am delighted by them, at least temporarily.